The United States First Lady Melania Trump has demanded the ouster of National Security Advisor John Bolton's top deputy, Myra Cardell, as reports swirled about an imminent shakeup of President Donald Trump's administration. Who spokesman said, quote, it is the position of the office of the First Lady that she no longer deserves the honor of serving in the White House. Well, joining us now is Bloomberg senior reporter for international affairs. He's Mark Champion. Mark, if uh, the deputy of John Bolton leaves, or indeed if there's a shakeup and actually the chief of staff leaves, what does it mean for foreign policy? Uh, well, I think, you know, it, what it will tell us, first of all, is something, you know, more about the administration and how it works. Um, if, uh, if Ray Cardell leaves, I don't think it uh, means a great deal uh, unless uh, uh, John Bolton were to go, and that would be uh, very important. Obviously, it would be somewhat weakening for him if he were to, if she were to leave. Uh, she was his choice. Um, but she's been quite a difficult uh, squeaky wheel within the administration. So, uh, you know, it could play, play either way, really. Um, but if Kelly were to go, uh, you know, the, the important thing there is that he, of the original team, the sort of adults in, in the room that people used to talk about uh, uh, surrounding Trump, people who would, you know, check his uh, most radical impulses, there are only two left, and Kelly, Kelly is one of them. Uh, Jim Mattis, uh, the defense secretary, is the other, the much more important. Uh, so, you know, while Kelly would, would have some impact, uh, we, because we don't know who the next person would be, uh, as the chief of staff, he's, he would be less important, I think, than uh, if the, the big one, which is Jim Mattis, were, were to be uh, put in yeah. question. I mean, Mark, am I right in saying that there's an unusually high level of turnover in this administration? Does it mean it's going to be more difficult to recruit good people? I, I'm sorry, can you just repeat? Mark, I was asking about the level of turnover amongst White House staff. Is it higher than in previous administrations and does it mean it's harder to get more people? Uh, well, it is, it is a higher turnover. Um, you know, it, it, White House administrations are always difficult. The jobs of the uh, chief of staff, the jobs of the national security advisor, which are really coordinating, order, order making jobs, these are always difficult. But I don't think that there's ever been a, an administration in memory uh, where that job has been this hard. So as, you know, as, as efficient as Kelly may or may not be, uh, he hasn't really been able to keep order in the White House. Um, there is a great deal of turnover now, uh, and there are questions about whether uh, you know, it will be possible to find qualified people. Uh, you, th that's it. They're just questions. Uh, mm -hmm. Generally, people do want to work in the White House. It is the president's office, after all.